This is our commentary. It is not that bad. Fuck our code for twenty. I don't know why I decided to do this, but there was a trigger man amongst the animals, and they were triggered a bomb. And a bomb of explosions and death or some shit. It's kind of corresponding to what I'm about to say now. <laughs> Whatever. You out there, YouTube. It is Kakoon again. Bring you another gameplay. Go and take my way here again. Bring you some more Modern Warfare 3. Like I do. Going to be bringing you a 6v6 domination on the new DLC map, Paris. Using the PP90M1 with dual attachments. So I've got a stain the mags and rapid fire on there. I'm running the perk self, Extreme Conditioning Pro, Hardline Pro, Stalker Pro. I'm running the Specialist Strike Package. So from a first perk, I unlock Blind Eye. Second, Assassin. Third, Steady Aim. I've got Frag Grenade and a portable radar as my lethal and tactical. I've got an MP9 Extended Mag Secondary. Boom! Getting on with it. Do it like we do. Straight balls deep into the commentary topic. Let's do this, right? The past 24 hours, there's been a lot of beef going down on Twitter. I always find this shit kind of interesting, but I've had a commentary topic, which I'm about to do right now, which you are directly listening to, written down for over two months or so. And I don't know, it's an interesting, it's kind of grown. The whole topic has kind of grown, because what I initially had was Twitter killed the YouTube gaming community, right? It's an interesting thought, to be fair, and it's kind of grown, and I'll expand upon it as I go through the commentary and shit like that. But I, obviously, past 24 hours, shit's gone down on Twitter. Twitter beef, as per usual. People starting shit about people starting shit. You know, I honestly don't care. I find it fucking hilarious. All these, like, supposedly men on, it, on the internet as well, you know. Starting beef, making empty threats towards each other, you know, threatening to die, you know, threatening to whatever, kill people, commit suicide, weird shit to be fair. I mean, fuck, what happened to YouTube gaming being about games and gaming other than committing suicide and moaning about getting views and getting paid for money, shit like that, you know. What happens to just about playing games, having fun, commentating, you know, that's gone, that's gone, doesn't exist doesn't exist you know why it doesn't exist because other outlets have helped to destroy the old YouTube gaming kind of scenario the revolution has come but it didn't come directly from YouTube it came from other outlets opening up the horizon on what YouTube hadn't capitalized upon you know through Twitter with instant messages having all your big YouTubers at a tweet away just by adding an at handle to the tweet and then it's directed at him. You know, all these big YouTubers, oh, sorry, all these big YouTubers being able to communicate with him. The little YouTuber being able to tweet at him. The bigger YouTuber being able to tweet at the relatively smaller YouTuber. You know, equal YouTubers communicating. A public forum. It's not enclosed. It's not private. It's all public. Having f hundreds of thousands of followers follow your Twitter accounts, seeing how you're communicating directly between like YouTubers, these YouTubers that all oh, these fans and viewers and people within the YouTube gaming community look up to, seeing what they're doing personally directly through Twitter because they can't do that shit on YouTube because in the olden days the YouTube like game was PMs making videos, making video responsives. If somebody had a beef, they'd make a video. And then if somebody wanted to retaliate to that, they make a video response. You know, it's the same scenario. It's the same scenario, but it's evolved into Twitter and how people do instantaneous tweets directly. Boom, he made a tweet a minute ago. Now it's like, you know, it's now it's your turn. You've got to respond. It's been a minute. Are you going to do it? You know, if people didn't have that urgency that kind of Twitter offers with the instantaneousness as a pick up the Moab, you know, if they didn't offer that, then it, shit wouldn't even go off. Imagine if like somebody tweeted trying to start beef with somebody and then 10 hours later somebody responds. That wouldn't mean shit. That wouldn't mean shit. That's essentially what it could be like on YouTube. If somebody made a video calling somebody out and somebody made a video response 10 hours later, it wouldn't have the same response, you know. But because of Twitter, 
you know, directly, instantaneously through Twitter. It's a direct response. Direct conflicts. Instantaneous, you know. Battling. Warring it out. You know, beefing it up. Whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I find it pathetic. You've just got to look at other scenarios recently within the YouTube game, though. In which the scenario between the Hawaiian boy and the Air Force pilot and how he made a video directly calling this other guy out with a greater, larger subscriber base than he could ever imagine to have and how, in the normal sense, that would have probably never have happened that would have never have happened imagine, like, if somebody uploaded a video tomorrow calling out another big YouTuber and they just did YouTube self-promotion only no, his video blew up because of Twitter and people on Twitter liking the video and retweeting the video and making people more aware of it shit like that didn't happen through YouTube it happened through Twitter because it's instant direct you know if you have somebody like the video who's got a hundred thousand followers and then like you say fifty thousand of them go over and check out the video then you know that's where the views are coming from it's not coming from directly within YouTube that video probably should have never have blown up all these big youtubers helped this guy blow up not like maybe not like intentionally but still that's the scenario that happened or maybe it was intentionally maybe they just wanted to get rid of this one guy I don't know you know you don't know this shit but that shit would have not have blown up directly through YouTube yes it would have gained some exposure but what really helped it to explode was the direct pushing effect from all these other youtubers on Twitter and letting it be known you know getting it out there to the fucking community and shit like that it's it's, it's a fucked up scenario it honestly is because Twitter has essentially ruined what the YouTube game used to be I mean it's now Twitter has turned it into the direct communication between YouTubers. Back in the day, all you used to be able to do was to send a PM directly to one of your YouTubers and have your fingers crossed with your thumb up your ass, hoping for a response. These days, you just tweet at them directly. See if you get a response. If you don't get a response, you tweet at them again. You tweet at them again. You get yourself blocked. Who gives a shit? It's Twitter. You know? That's, that's what it comes down to. People pestering instantaneously. That's the way shit goes down. You know, it's the same, it's not just the same scenario as in how beef starts and such like that because, I mean, there's other aspects to it. Like, as in the scenario, as in, yes, Twitter is a public forum, kind of goes hand in hand with YouTube, but the two shouldn't combine because, you know, if YouTube was to implement uh, instant messaging service is the same sense as like MSN or Skype text chatting or whatever like that you know then Twitter would have died out this is why these other applications are blowing up because they're capitalizing upon what YouTube didn't do I for example you look at Twitch and how YouTube's fallen behind with the live broadcasting scenario now I mean they're only trying to implement it as of now but Twitch has been doing this shit for time allowing people these YouTube personalities to go over to Twitch to be able to cast with their personality their gameplay their instantaneous live reactions with the viewers and the people in the chat and the people that are getting at them on Twitter you know this whole live interaction thing YouTube's fallen behind YouTube isn't on the live interaction scenario it's fallen behind. They don't. They ain't got that capability. You know what I'm saying? YouTube doesn't have the capability. Well, especially the YouTube gaming community is what I meant to say. The YouTube gaming community shouldn't have the capability. Oh well, shouldn't and should not. Wait, no, is that right? I don't know. Shouldn't have the capability to be able to directly interact with these other YouTubers. I mean, the YouTube gaming community is probably the most outspoken controversial opinionated group of individuals in the entire world on the internet you know maybe just in the entire world maybe not even on the internet you don't know people like that should not be able to have this forum where they can instantly start shit with each other be able to 
beef with each other over mundane, stupid, empty threats. You know, this whole scenario is fucked and I mean, this is what's destroying the way YouTube used to be and turning it into the YouTube revolution of what it's going to be ultimately from now till the end. You know, this is what it is. It's not about gaming commentaries anymore. It's not about that. It's about the personality and what the personality has to offer. And when you see these harsh, raw, vivid pictures of these personalities that are being portrayed on Twitter and shit like that, it's disgusting. It is disgusting, to be fair. That's why I don't get involved with any of this beef. And I mean, the only reason I'm doing this commentary is because I've had like this topic written down for months. And over time, it's gradually evolved as I've like put more, you know, corresponding factors into it and shit. You know, it's, it's a fucked up scenario. It is a fucked up scenario. We are part, like I said, we are part of one of the most controversial individual opinionated communities out there. You know, and just with the whole kind of new wave media outlet explosion, just like with Twitter and, you know, Reddit and Twitch and everything, everything that's opening up these public forums is just, it's, it's destroying what YouTube used to be. Everything that used to be done on YouTube comparable to beef was a slow process. People would make a video calling somebody out, then somebody would make a video response, then so on and then so on. I remember the days when you'd have like 10 video responses and that was what the, the entire YouTube gaming beef was based around. Now it's gone into this instantaneous. All you've got to do is as well is look at the fact it went down on Twitter. This beef went down on Twitter. Boom! There was a cast implemented, a live stream. This is where all the people were. They were settling it. They were debating it out. It's back again to the live interaction. It's only fortunate that YouTube has this live capable streaming, you know, abilities or whatever to be able to do that. You know, if not, it would have probably been done on Twitch or something. YouTube is moving away from YouTube. YouTube gaming is no longer YouTube gaming. It's gaming, the gaming online community, not even related to YouTube anymore. That's how far away it's getting. Seriously. It's a fucked up scenario, people. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Pretty epically long com. I don't know. I probably missed out a fair few points as well, to be fair. I mean, I'm, I'm going off the top of my head. I've not got a list written down or nothing like that. I find it flows better when I just go off the top of my head, you know. I get more out of it. Whatever. You take it for what it is, people. Just, I mean, look at it for what it is as well. I mean, yeah, whatever, whatever. Get get this well known. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know. Let other people know. Let other people hear your thoughts. Let other people hear my thoughts, my theories, everything like that. You know, this is what we've got to do, people. We've got to expose the YouTube gaming community for what it is of being this opinionated controversial community we need to weed out all these people that are pathetic and put in all these people that are legit legitimate people that are here for gaming and gaming commentaries not just here to make beef and drama and gain exposure from it and shit it's pathetic pathetic until next time <laughs>